Let's be honest, I've been fangirling over Mercedes-Benz fragrances for a minute. Those cheapies hit different, whether it be Select Night or Club Black. Some of my favorite cheapies in the collection, honestly, based on my personal taste, them shits be hitting. So today we're going to be checking out Mercedes-Benz Le Parfum, and let's hope it matches the energies of those other fragrances. Let's roll, ma'am. Let me look to see if we discovered another Mercedes-Benz gem, and who knows, I might go from being a Beamer dude to getting me a Benz. Doubtful. <laughs> Pressing morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the to the B to the A. Shout out to Max Romo for sponsoring today's video, and shout out to me for selecting this fragrance. Let's be clear. I got hype off of this fragrance merely because one of y'all mentioned in the community board, and I was like, yo, I like the other Ben's fragrances, but what's up with this joint? How bad did it smell? It's a sub $50 fragrance matching the same energy as the other fragrances, and based on the notes from what I previously saw when I requested this joint, sounds pretty good to me. But the nose, Chico, it never lies. You a liar! But it does get congested and confused. Damn, look at this little leather case and shit. This case is actually nicer than all of those put together. Is this true? This is beautiful. What is that, velvet? This leather. It smells like leather. Nice stitching on the side. Wow, this is actually a really nice presentation. Not what I expected at all. Look at the case on this joint. It's got a nice little leather action, some stitching on the side, stitching over here on the seam with the little open tab. Pretty cool if you open it. Hey, this is nice, bro. This is a nice case. Okay, so you feel like you're getting a little luxury aspect. Very cool, nice, pretty snazzy. Bro, it smells like, so I think it's official tissue leather. Doesn't smell like PU leather. And here's Mercedes-Benz Le Parfum. Very nice bottle. It looks like some of the other flankers. I think they have the aquatic one. It's blue, I think a green one, this joint, and a couple of other colorways. Let's check out the notes though. All right, so up top we got pink pepper and bergamot followed by violet leaf, saffron, and galvanum. And at the base we got amber, oud, vetiver, and patchouli. Sounds pretty simplistic. I don't know what this is particularly inspired by as of yet, or at least I don't remember. I'm sure I looked it up, but I definitely don't remember. But let's get a sniff of it first and then we'll see if it reminds us of anything or we'll just look up what it's potentially inspired by. For 50 bucks, I doubt it's gonna suck or I doubt it's gonna be amazing. But we'll see. First impression time. Let's go. Decent atomizer. Who cares? Very... Okay, you get a light leather, but this shit opened up like para mi bebe. It opened up like that baby cologne that I detest. It smelled neroli-ish on the opening. Very unusual. It's a sweet leather, but light on the leather, more on this peppery sweetness but it had a neroli, petty grainish kind of opening that's really unusual. It really, really reminded me of baby cologne. Ja is going to fucking lose his tits over this if he picks up that same note. Yeah, this is a little baby cologne-ish. There's a cleanliness factor here. There's a young buck, childish, like introducing your infant, your five to eight year old into perfumery and apply it. You can apply this to a baby and they'll have leather essences on this shit. This is... I'm picking up, no, it doesn't say it, it doesn't say it, but I'm picking up white petty green, white florals, leather sweetness, and this really clean factor, this very freshly bathed baby in its little bassinet thingy with the Johnson & Johnson baby soaps that smell absolutely amazing. Any parent out there knows that after you give a baby, like a, a small baby, a bath, and you clean their little heads, and then you're holding them, and you smell their little heads, and you, they, it's just such a amazing, comforting, like, oh, I just want to eat you up kind of smell. It's the cutest fucking thing ever, but I don't want to smell like a baby, bro. But in a couple years, I will be wearing a diaper with my old ass. I'm going to have to go on skin and give this some time, because I'm very, ooh, about this fragrance. I don't dislike it, but that baby note, that neroli-ish pedigree that I'm getting off of the test strip, doesn't move my monkey the way that I want it to but I can see how this is gonna have a lot of mass appeal energy. Let me get a quick sniff, go pick up my McDonald's, go eat my McChicken and my buy one, get one free french fry, then come back and see what kind of energy I'm getting. So let me smell. Okay, I'm still getting a little bit of it on skin. There's a little bit of a white floral petty green kind of action. At least what I recognize as Neroli, AKA Para Mi Bebe Baby Cologne, which in some countries is Agua de Violeta, same shit. This needs some time. Let me go snack on something and come back to it. I'm confused. Uh. Oh, don't judge a book by its cover. Yo, the french fries were extra salty today. Thumbs up. But if anybody knows McDonald's french fries, you let them cool off just a little bit and they're complete cardboard. I want to fly a fish. So all I kept doing while eating my McChicken is getting wafts of this fragrance. Babo, it is a soft, lightly floral fragrance that you have to let settle. Do not judge this fragrance by the first impression. 
you have to let it do what it has to do on your skin for you to feel anything. Surprisingly, the fragrance from the opening to the dry down has shifted so dramatically that it's like, it, it's not even the same scent. Right now, it's on a slightly sweet, dusty, dry, leathery aspect with this cleanliness about it. So that neroli, petty greenish shit that I was getting up top, completely gone, thank God. So for me, the opening is just a little challenging just because I don't love that particular note. But the dry down is very masculine, super wearable. There is some good quality in this shit, especially for the fucking price point. It's not club black and it's not select black, but it can definitely play in the space as a solid third place. Bro, the fragrance is nice, very masculine, very corporate. There's more a mature factor. It opened up a little bit fuckboy, bitchy, baby kind of style, but the dry down really is nice. Bro, Benz is doing some nice fucking scents. This one threw me for a whirl. The other two I liked right upon just smelling them instantly. Maybe because I'm more into the caramelic, ambery type scents with a little bit of a gourmand essence. And this one just screams white floral straight into dry leather. On Fragrantica, people have this compared slightly to Tuscan leather. I don't get Tuscan leather vibes. I can't throw every fucking leather that smells out there like a Tuscan leather. I don't get that shit. It's definitely a dope fragrance for 50 bucks. I think somebody who smells this shit and gets that same style opening as I do and enjoy Neroli might get like an extra like, whoa, this is pretty fucking lit. For me, it's all about the full dry down, not the opening, not the mid, just full dry down. For 50 bucks or sub $50, I'll give this shit a solid 7.2. This is pretty fucking good. Just full dry down. I wouldn't give it a 7.5 to almost 8 if the opening was matching this kind of energy. But damn, give me another Benz recommendation, guys. Like, these are getting fucking good. Benz, as far as car brand fragrance is concerned, is starting to be, like, number one, honestly. I don't know of any other car brand that has that consistent sex appeal, do I? Huh. Not that I have. There's Bentley or whatever. Bentley got solid shit, but does it have that repertoire? Like, is it matching my style? The dark, resinous, sexy, masculine, corporate kind of... I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in this joint. Please put me on to other joints in this same vein because man the opening was meh the dry down but well, i'll see y'all bitches next time you know who it is biggest in the gang smooches oh hey did i make me chicken please for the fly gun hold a money for the holder roll a star tag when it's time to call back for the rough rugger than raw way this nigga jay it's a game but he don't play Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>